Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're seeing this video. Welcome to my channel again. This is your boy, Believer. Uh, if you are new to this page, please do well to subscribe to my page and give me a thumb up. Give me a thumb up. Click it. Thumb up. So that other people will be able to see this video. Okay, we have issues to discuss. I have about one or two issues to discuss. And this one is very important thing that we need to discuss. And one of them is very important concerning Abia State government. You know, Abia State... Can I say they have, like, what some of them are saying, they have a fresh air. They're having a fresh air in their, sta in their state, you know. You know, since 1999, a particular party has been ruling them. That's People's Democratic Party, PDP, has been ruling them till this year's election where an opposition defeated the ruling party. That is the Labour Party. I mean, the flag, flag by... Uh, Dr. Elias Oti won the election and he was sworn in on the 29th of May 2023. You know, after he was, during his inaugural speech, one of the things this man said was that, that he's going to make sure that the salaries of civil servants are paid latest 28 of every month. And he had been fulfilling that. This June, he ordered the Accountant General of the state to pay uh the civil servant in the state make sure that everybody salary is paid and happy state people are happy civil servants in happy state they are now happy they are saying yes this is the kind of man we need we have we have been living in poor in poverty i mean we have been living uh without anything anything to show for our effort we work every month without having anything to show for it but this time around whatever we work our salaries are paid and they are very happy and who will not be happy that you are working and you are getting your salary at the end of the month that is the most important thing now there's another news i want to bring to you see the picture that's enugu state governor peter mba now peter mba is in a little bit when i say trouble i don't know when i say trouble now Recall that since he was sworn in, there have been uh, uh, this thing. Uh, Labour Party in the state, in Enugu State, took him to court, saying that the uh, that is that the governor submitted fake NYC certificates. Yes, fake NYC certificates. Now this thing had been lingering. The other time was it last month. Peter, uh, Governor Peter Mba refused to appear before the uh, tribunal. When he was meant to appear, he refused to appear. Now, yesterday, that is on Friday, NYC said, testified against him, said that the certificate he, he brought, he submitted to INEC was fake. It was a forged one. Now, according to news, the Labour Party on Friday continued the defense of its petition against Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State at the election tribunal with the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, as its first witness to prove the allegation of certificate forgery against the governor. At the resumed hearing of the petition filed by the Labour Party and its candidate, Barista Chijoke Edioga, they called, they called the National Youth Service Corps, NYC, as its first witness, whose official director of certificate, Aliyu Abdul and Mohammed, tenders some documents which were admitted by the tribunal as evidence. Among the documents tendered by the, by the NYC were the alleged forged discharge certificate used by Peter Mba as well as the original discharge certificate which they said Mba ought to have collected. Also tendered was a letter written by the Omar and Partners, an Abuja-based law firm, which had asked the cops to scrutinize the discharge certificate submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, by the governor. So they said they came with two documents. One is the forged certificates that the governor submitted to the INEC before the election. 
and they came also with another certificate which which was the original one the governor supposed to have collected his original meaning that the governor didn't collect the original certificate i know i had to brought it to uh they brought it to the tr tribunal and to say this is what the governor ought to have submitted but he failed Otilo. he failed by submitting the fake one this is the news trending in nigeria now so i don't know what the governor is going to do about this is it that leaving it by saying that yes it's, it's a game over for the governor of enugu state that is going to leave that office i don't know is he going to leave office so that's the news i'm bringing to you today thank you for watching my video please do wait to subscribe to my channel do wait to like my video do wait to drop a comment below see you in the next video Goodbye.